I, I am back. I am back. First, I am grateful for those who watched the video. I don't know how much of the video you watched, but hopefully it was super impactful to you guys. Um, and legit as well. So again, joining you half past 10 in the evening instead of falling asleep, we are doing this just for a bit. So real quick, this is what we're, we're going to go through. I was going to go into a bit of easy equities, but before we get into a bit of easy equities, um, we need to drop a bit of information at you. This is legit, right? This is not one of those posts on, on YouTube where we're selling you some weird business and we're not telling what the business is and we're not, and it's just like come to the presentation and oh, this is real. So here it is, this is, I've got the screenshot, this is why I don't really see my face. So you can see what it is that I'm looking at. So this is what banks normally do. <laughs> yes, that's how I'm starting. This is where banks, this is what banks normally do. We're not going to call it a scam. I'm not going to call what businesses do a scam. It's a business, right? But this is what businesses, sorry, this is what banks do. Banks will often advertise a particular interest rate. Right, they'll, they'll, they'll advertise uh, 7.92. This is from Time Bank, by the way. Uh, Time Bank interest rates is what I googled, and it says three months you'll earn a 7.92 monthly interest, six months is an eight, and 12 months is 9.53. Right, annual effective is 8.2, six months is nine, and 12 months is 10 10 percent, which is nice. Like, when was the last time you heard that you're making a 10%? <laughs> if you put in a thousand, you'll get an extra hundred bucks at the end of the year. Normally, it would revolve anywhere anyway between four and seven percent, right? Maybe four and eight percent. We're at 10. We're not going to discuss that. What we are going to discuss is the hidden terms and conditions which are often here. And let's just, let's just. Go to a link right this is for time bank um not let's let's just click on the time bank one let's just see what that has this is unplanned i was actually going to go to um which one one of these uh, the, this news 24 one that's the one i was actually going to go to let's let's go to that as well All right and yes there is an 11 there's a purpose behind behind this stuff um this is like in this is like dropping knowledge and also an intro to the next video ah right so this quick this is basically what banks do they'll tell you this is the interest rate i know you can't see it it's okay don't stress um how bitcoin no bitcoin bit defender <laughs> um anyway so often be like this is the interest rate you can get <coughs> but you have to have a minimum amount of money that's put in so they'll be like you can get 12 percent effective interest on maturity and you're like whoa and then you come with the five like five thousand they're like no you need to have like two hundred thousand in order to qualify for that and you're like but but i only have five thousand and they're like oh well we can only offer you like eight percent and you're like how but 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 Right. So often what they'll do is they will advertise the highest interest rate that they can give under certain conditions, but they're not necessarily going to tell you those conditions because it's a marketing pitch, not a gimmick. It's a marketing pitch. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of these people that are calling every strategy a gimmick, every legit strategy a gimmick. Then they come along with a gimmick and they call it a strategy. Right. So, <laughs> excuse me. So banks will come up with this oh no battery so banks will come up with a strategy they'll tell you the highest interest they can give you but they're not going to tell you how much the deposit is that's because they know that if they told you how much the deposit is you go hang egg so <coughs> they bring you into the bank you come in and then you find out painfully you don't qualify for the highest amount but they then kind of give you a consolation prize if you put it in, this is what you'll get. And then you kind of go, okay, fine. So that's what banks generally do. If this thing can be seen, I don't know if I can see it. Here it is. So a fixed 
amount for a fixed term earning 10% fixed interest. That is so cool. A time bank, fixed bank accounts for planners, future thinkers, etc. etc. Let's make your something something official. I hope they're not gonna force me to sign in. Please don't. Please don't make me sign in. They're gonna make me sign in. Well, that kind of proves my point. <laughs> I have to come and then I have to put the amount of money and then they're gonna tell me what it is. Or I can just go to the, if it's another bank, I can go to the branch. Um, so anyway, that's kind of the point. So you might find that in order to get the 10% um, annual rate, you might need to have like 20,000 euro in your account or 40,000 in your account to earn a 10% per year. Again, the average person does not have um, like 20,000 in their account and 40,000 in their account. But um, the wealthier people might. And even then, I mean, uh, when you're wealthy, wealthy, yes, you're going to have that amount of money probably or more. But at the same time, if you're proper wealthy, you're not going to be worried about the